Good morning. I'm bringing our take five this morning and my name is Jessica Hills. I'm on staff here at River of Life. I just have a real quick word this morning that uh, God has kind of just put on my heart as I just had the opportunity this morning to have coffee with my sister and just kind of catch up long overdue time. And every time I have that chance, I weave going, man, we need to do that more often. And it just um, brings so much uh, joy to be able to just talk with her. She's one of my best friends and um, we just love to be together, build each other up, encourage each other, that kind of thing. And it really prompted me, uh, brought to mind the verse uh, Hebrews 10 25 that says, and let us not give up meeting together. Some are in the habit of doing this. Instead, let us encourage one another with words of hope. Let us do this even more as you see Christ's return approaching. And Man, what a timely word for where we are at right now, coming off of COVID and being locked down, uh, everything being shut down for a while where we were told we shouldn't be meeting together, we couldn't meet together, those kinds of things. And I know that um, there's some people who still have you know, decided that they want to watch church online or um, and not come back to be in the body and have that community. And I just really want to encourage you this morning that if that's uh, where you're at, um, I would encourage you to ask God what what you should be doing, if that's where he wants you, if, if you should be um, still removed from that community, whatever that was, wherever it was, uh, or, or maybe it's just a, a friend that you need to reach out and have coffee with. Or maybe it's a family member you need to reach out to. I just really want to encourage you. We're not, we were not created to do life alone. We were created to do life with one another. Um, I know from experience in my past in times where I've been struggling with something, sometimes our tendency is just to kind of shut down, pull away from people that love us. And uh, it's easy to make excuses to say, oh, I'm too busy. I don't have time for coffee or I don't have time to get together with so-and-so or have these people over for dinner. But every time I've made time, I've never made time and regretted it. I've never made time for somebody in my life and then gone back afterwards and said, goodness, that was such a waste. Every single time it was either um, life-giving to myself or I knew it was life-giving to the other person. Usually, nine out of ten times probably, it was life-giving for both of us. So that's really just my encouragement this morning is if you are somebody who has really pulled back and you haven't yet jumped back in, uh, to whatever that sense of community is or um, has been for you in the past, I would really encourage you to get back to that, to take that next step. And um, like I said, whether it's just to reach out to somebody personally for one-on-one -on -one or with another family, or if it means maybe coming back to church and you haven't been at church for a while, and I don't mean just at River of Life, wherever it is that you um, have your people, I would encourage you to get back to that. And it will, I promise you, it will be life-giving. So that's it. Again, that reference or the scripture reference I used was Hebrews 10, 25. And I just want to really, really encourage you to do that. Connect with somebody. Don't do life alone. It's way, way better when we do it together. So that's it. Let me pray us out here. Dear Heavenly Father, I just thank you for this day. Thank you for the sunshine this morning. God, I just ask that you would really press upon our hearts uh, what that what our community looks like, who it is that you want us to connect with, push us out of our comfort zone to really connect and have community because you created us to do so, Lord. In your name we pray. Amen. Have an awesome Thursday. Thank you.